So you've recorded an amazing and engaging interview over Zoom. Now what? I'll be showing you how to edit your video in minutes so you can repurpose that video to use it on YouTube, Instagram, or even TikTok. I'll be showing you how to record, edit, style, subtitle, download, and even share that video to all your social media platforms. I'll be taking your video from this to this. All right, we got a lot to cover, so let's get straight into the video. Now I'm in Zoom and I've got my app open here. I've got my guest speaker, Ryan. So to record it, all I'm gonna do is press the record button here to begin. Recording in progress. So hi Ryan, thanks so much for joining me today. I have one quick question for you. I wanna know what your favorite thing about V Live is. Well, I think my favorite thing about V Live is the fact that you can transcribe the audio after you've finished recording and you can repurpose that for all sorts of different reasons. Absolutely, I totally agree. So now to end the recording, all you're gonna do is hit the stop recording button recording here stopped. and it's stopped. Okay, and then you can let your guest speaker leave and you can hit end and then end for all. Okay, so now the meeting's ended for everybody, that will automatically convert your video to an MP4 file and save that on your laptop. So that's how to record using Zoom. Moving on, I'm gonna show you how to edit your videos using Veed. So to get started, just click the first link in the description. Okay, so now we're in Veed, we're gonna click upload a file, choose to upload your Zoom video, and once it's uploaded here, we can then change the size of our video to fit any social media platform. So all you gotta do is where it says project settings here, see size, click that arrow down, and then choose whichever one that you want. So for this video, I'm gonna choose YouTube's 16 to nine aspect ratio. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna trim our video. So we wanna remove the gaps at the start and at the end. So move your playhead over in the timeline to the point you want your video to start, then click split, right click on the portion you wanna remove, and and hit delete. Now you can hover your mouse over that gap in the timeline, you'll see a bin appear, click it and that's gonna move your clips over. Now move your playhead over to where you want your video to end and do the same thing again. Click split, right click, click delete. Perfect, so we've trimmed our video. Now the next thing I wanna tackle is the black bars that are surrounding our video. They're kinda of dark, kinda of depressing, I wanna change that. So I'm gonna head over to settings here in my toolbar and under background you'll see that there's a color bucket. So click on that and then choose the color that you want for your background. It won't appear at first because we need to crop our video. Click on your video and then pull down the middle toggle to crop your video and you'll see the yellow is now appearing. Do the same thing again for the bottom part of your video. Perfect, so moving on now, we wanna make it even more visually appealing for the viewer. We're gonna head over to Elements in the left toolbar, scroll down to where you see it says 3D stickers and click View for All. I'm gonna choose the pink and purple one here and then I'm gonna move it over to the top corner of my screen, slightly rotate it so it looks like it's coming out of the corner and then I'm gonna to head to my timeline and I'll make sure that that sticker is covering my entire video. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other corner. Perfect, so now we're starting to take shape here. The next thing I wanna add is text. Because the names on Zoom, they're kinda of small, difficult to read. We're gonna now click on the text tool here in the toolbar, click headline title, and then I'm gonna type in the first speaker's name. So I'm gonna type in Ryan. Then I can change the font, I can change the size, I can change the color of the text, and then I can even add an effect. I'm gonna choose mm, rounded background, and then I'm gonna change that background color to match the style of my video. So I'll pick up the dropper tool and select a color from my video. Then I'm just gonna position that on screen, and once again, drag it across the entire timeline so it stays on screen for the whole time of your video. Cool, so you can just repeat the exact same steps now for the next speaker, which would be myself. Now the last thing I wanna add here is subtitles, because the majority of people that actually watch these videos prefer to watch them with subtitles on so do not skip this step in the toolbar here you're going to click subtitles click auto subtitle choose your language and click create subtitles you're going to give that a moment here to work its magic and then once it's done you need to watch it through all the way just to make sure that it's not misheard any words but if you have spotted any errors it's a very simple fix just click on the word that's wrong delete it and type out the correct word perfect now we're going to click on the styles tab here and then we can change the font we can change the size, we can change the color of the text, and then if you click on text animation here, you can choose any of the styles that you see here. Some of them are actually like karaoke where the words appear in time with the audio. So then you can choose your effect if you like, and then also you can reposition your subtitles on screen. Perfect, now we're happy with our edited zoom, we can export it. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings, make sure the burn subtitles is marked as on, and then click export video. You're gonna give that a moment here to render your video. Once it's finished, again, watch it all the way through just to make sure you're happy with it. And if you're happy with it, you can then click download and download MP4. You can also click share here and then send that link to an email address, or you can share it to any of the social media platforms you see here. The choice is yours. 
And that's it. That's how to edit a Zoom video using Veed. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.